Akinak. Move out of the way. Indeed it does. To turn number one, Stu Robinson. Beautiful line through that corner. It may have gone a little high. Coming through on the inside is Brewer. That closes the door, so it was a clever move by Stu Robinson. Let's see how he handles turns three and four. Gets the tail out. Now guns it to the main straightaway. I tell you what, the guy running second, Bob Brewer, doesn't want to hang fire. He's keen to go on with it. 61 getting out of shape in the main straightaway, causing a few palpitations of the heart to those coming behind. And a few bit of fender scraping going as they hit the back straightaway with uh, seven laps. They're in the process of the second lap now, coming to the home straightaway. And the race leader is Stu Phillips. He's leading out from... Uh, Robinson, beg your pardon, over Brewer running in second spot. And third is car number 42, Nathan Wilson from the ACT. Bob Brewer a little closer this time to the tail of Stu Robinson as they make their way down the back straight. Really trying to get the tail of the car out through this corner. Bob Brewer's done a pretty fair job here and Robinson closes up on the inside as they come down. They're actually going to pass that traffic inside the, uh, the eight laps, which is quite unusual. They make their way into the bottom turn now Oops. and getting a tap in the tail to get on with it for good measure is, uh, is uh, Stu Robinson, Bob Brewer getting very close to him. So there goes uh, Robinson very, very hard into the Look turn. Look at this on the inside. This guy's second Brewer is really keen to go on with it. It's a holding operation more than anything else by Stu Robertson. The aggressor is the driver in car number two, going to the back straightaway, Bob Brewer. They're both from Newcastle, so they know each other's driving tactics pretty well, but they're on strange territory tonight, so anything can happen. Back to the home straightaway, they've got three laps to get their act together. Well, they're not doing a bad job with three to go. Into the bottom corner, Robertson still there. Brewer was... Uh going in far too deep and losing a lot of ground. He's trying to make it a uh, shorter run around the inside. Just seeing whether or not they'll actually pass some slower cars in the last couple of laps of this as they come across the strike now. Mark Blyton from Dubbo hangs back in third place, but the interest is in this run for one and two. The cars don't touch as they go through the top turn, but I think Brewer made a mistake there. He lost a little bit of ground. He's regathering it, and as Mike mentioned, they're coming up to lap some cars. That could be the difference in this one. There'll be one lap to go this time to the main straightaway. I think he's got him. Oh! No, he almost had him. He's blowing it now. As long as he stays straight, the race win will go to Stu Robinson. He dives to the inside. Well, this guy's coming back at him now. He's spinning wheels and going nowhere. In fact, he's been gathered in by 61, the Dubbo driver, Mark Blyton. The checkered flag's flying. One spins out in the top turn. It doesn't make any difference to the race result. The checkered flag flies, and first home is car number four, Stu Robertson. Second home, number two, Bob Brewer. And third to the checkered flag from Dubbo in car 61, Mark Blyton in a time of 241.64 able to start in the last so that could well be uh, John Pine down